our problem in Parliament is poverty of imagination, really. That's what's wrong, and poverty of ambition. It's not having the imagination and the ambition to imagine what a different form of democracy might look like. Uh, and the challenge for us is great, because we were the mother of parliaments, we are the mother of parliaments. Surely it's time for the mother of parliaments to reimagine what a parliamentary democracy might be like for the 21st century. We're basically operating an 18th century democracy, not a 20th century democracy, an 18th century democracy, with lots of lots of little adjustments made along the way. But the fundamentals haven't altered at all. And yet the fundamentals of society have altered dramatically. And so it's ha taking a deep breath and having the courage to address the fact that, we're, that our, the way in which we operate democracy is out of sync with the nation we're living in. I do hold the media very, very highly culpable for the present state of discontent and disquiet that I suspect uh, is operating in, 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 in the broad world of politics. The media are culpable in a sense because they are actively misinforming the, the public. The way in which they tend to cover, certainly the tabloids, cover politics does not reflect the work that goes on uh, in, in the House, does not reflect the very, very good people uh, that we have. And most important of all, I'm less bothered about the knockabout that occurs in in party politics. I'm very concerned about the fall off that's taken place in terms of the impact on the morale of the civil service. We in Britain have a superb civil service. We just got to wake up and realize that. And it appalls me, it really appalls me, the way the media continue to give the impression that these are an inefficient shower who some or other, if you privatize the whole thing or got rid of them, we'd have a better run countries. It's not true. It is a piece of rabid, if you like, misinformation. It does the country no good at all. The fault line that, that the Power Commission is addressing is a, a kind of a combination of an immature, hopelessly immature relationship between the media and politics generally, an ill-informed and occasionally misinformed public, and the fact that actually we don't get an opportunity to seriously debate the issues that affect most of our lives most of the time. And I do genuinely believe that the, it, the it's not a panacea, but one of the answers will be a web site in Parliament that engages people in an unmediated sense so they can actually find out what is taking place and maybe, maybe, maybe begin to develop a serious respect for both politicians and the work that they do do and more importantly a remarkable civil service which has had a very bad press for far too long. We need to apply all of our energy to creating the type of informed citizenry that can help steer this country through what will be a very, very difficult 21st century. I'd like to make that an issue.